All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. I'm on Aston Martin's account. Uh, I make a ton of videos on this guy's account, so thank you, Aston, for letting me use your account once again today for this video. And I know a lot of you guys will say, oh, you know, why don't you ever play on your own account whenever these expansions or whenever the game comes out? I actually did want to play today, but finals are, like, I'm a college student. Finals are coming up. I have to study. I have to get all my stuff done. So the only time I've really had to play is in the gameplay for these videos. So I'll be playing and, and you know, getting my own stuff in the future, um, but because I have to, like, put videos out and all that I've been using other people's accounts and in this video we are going over the Atalanta D it's not Atlanta like in Georgia it is the Atalanta and really quickly looking at the perks the first perk uh, is tap the trigger grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on the initial trigger pull you also have a choice between extended magazine and steady rounds steady rounds will greatly increase stability and slightly decrease range while extended mag will greatly increase magazine size and greatly decrease reload speed so originally your magazine will be at 27 I kind of kind you know kind of find it funny how it says greatly increased magazine size and then boop <laughs> Yay three extra bullets and then for the sites you have the GA post which is the one that I'm using that is short zoom And then you have the SD thermal which is medium zoom uh, It's an SMG so you don't really need a medium zoom sight on it and that's pretty much it You know it's, it looks pretty cool It's kind of like the antiope except for it's got a nice little muzzle nice little uh, silencer or something suppressor on there Maybe I don't know uh, roughly the size of triples arm. So it looks pretty good. You know It's nice, but anyways, that's it for the perks and let's see how it does in PvP very quickly before I talk about how this weapon feels in PvP for my time using it, please know that it's not like, you know, the DLC came out and I got an account to play on with one weapon or something and I felt like I had to make a video or had to get a video out so I just chose some random, a very average weapon to make a video on. Uh, Aston had like 15, like 10, 15 new DLC weapons. So out of those, I used like all of them. This one was by far the best I had used. So that's why I chose it for this video. So don't think it's just like some random, very average, uh, you know, mediocre SMG. It's actually really good. So this SMG is 600 RPM and I really like 600 RPM SMGs, but the only problem that I had found with them up until this point is it seems like they're super good when you're two feet away from them, but they either have really bad stability or just really bad overall effective range. So as soon as someone was like 10 feet away from you, the, like you, your shots would start disappearing and the gun would become useless. So I was looking for an option that was really good at close range because obviously shoots really fast. So it's going to dominate at close range but to also be usable uh, at more of a short to medium range as well the best way to describe the Atlanta D is it's it's kind of like an antiope on steroids in the sense that the base weapon is a lot better uh, the defining factor or the defining perk of the antiope is kill clip which unfortunately this gun does not have um, so that obviously I don't like it's not better in that regard but if you're just looking at the base weapon it feels exactly like the antiope it looks the same it sounds the same um, you know it functions the exact same way but it just shoots a lot faster um, so if someone is really close you can melt them like the antiope for me worked really really well but it only worked well at kind of a medium range which is weird for an SMG like it, you'd expect it to be really good when you're right next to someone because it's an SMG but unfortunately the antiope D never did that for me and this weapon does really well at the very close ranges as well as the range that I would normally use an antiope at just to put it into perspective another 600 rpm SMG which was the dead orbit SMG when I was making that video that took me like three to four hours of playing and I couldn't even get like one long five minute gameplay where I just had five minutes of gameplay rolling I had to like get tiny little like individual kills or double kills and splice them all together into like a highlight reel because the gun was so bad that I was going like 10 and or like 16 and 12 every single game and I couldn't get any gameplay with it but for this weapon it took me like three to four games to get enough gameplay I continued playing with it for a bit after that to get a better feel for it um, but it, it performed very well for me so 600 rpm it's not like they're all the exact same the dead orbit one was horrible in my opinion that's why I titled the video the way I titled it um, and the reason why I titled this video the way I titled it because it is my favorite right now it is unbelievable so that's basically going to do it for today's video. I really like this weapon. If I had to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably rate it um, 9 Better Devils reskins out of 10. Uh, obviously, we don't have 10 Better Devils reskin, but we picked up one in this DLC. So perhaps, you know, somewhere down the road, we'll hit 10 Better Devils repainted versions that are being sold off as new guns, which would be, you know, a milestone to say the least. If you're already subscribed and you want to make sure that you do not miss a video, go ahead and go to my channel and click on the bell, uh, and that will enable post notifications so that you do not miss a video in your sub box and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video.
Peace.